I've got cool things to do this summer in Pleasanton, California. It's all coming up. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Warren Oberhalser. I'm a local realtor in the East Bay Tri-Valley area in Northern California. My channel's all about helping both buyers and sellers get maximum results for one of their biggest investments, their home. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I post new content regularly. And if this is your first time here, all the information I go over can be found in a blog I've created just for this video. The link's in the show notes below, so just sit back and enjoy. Summer is finally here, and whether you want to do something by yourself, with friends or family, I've got lots you can do in Pleasanton. Well, since COVID guidelines have loosened a bit, there's actually a lot of activities available. Let's start off with weekends on Main Street. Pleasanton's historic downtown Main Street area is now closed off for car traffic from Friday afternoon to Sunday evening. This is a great opportunity to take a casual stroll up and down Main Street to shop and dine. Pleasanton's Downtown Main Street Association is planning to continue this format until the end of Labor Day weekend. Now, if you arrive early on Saturday morning, make sure you visit their farmer's market, which runs from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Shadow Cliffs Regional Park is now open. This is a great area for picnics, walks, and general family fun. Due to the low water levels, the lake has some limitation. No swimming or launching boats via a trailer. However, you can fish and you can access the lake with your boat, providing you can carry it and put it into the lake by hand. Also open is Dolores Benson Aquatic Center. The pools and activities are now finally open to the public. For hours and operation, please view their website. The fairground is finally hosting activities this summer. The Alameda County Fairgrounds is now starting to host events, including horse races and the Good Guy Auto Show. Again, visit their website for times and dates. And last, but definitely not least, is Pleasanton's Recreational Department. They have several activities to choose from, including indoor and outdoor camps and classes. Well, as you can see, a lot of positive changes have occurred since last year. Please let me know what you plan for the summer in Pleasanton. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, post any questions or comments down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. I post new content like this regularly. If you found this video interesting for Pleasanton, you may want to watch my pros and cons and the top areas for Pleasanton, California. So stay tuned. I have more helpful videos like this coming soon. Please reach out to me for any of your real estate questions or needs, and I wish you all the best on your home journey.